Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you the worst of Chanel Beauty. Now these are the ones I've tried out myself and these ones I feel like you definitely shouldn't waste your money on because you can probably purchase things from Chanel that are a lot better or things that are more affordable that are better as well. Now these are products that I've tested out myself and these are my own opinions so if they do work out for you and they feature in this video then I'm glad that they work out for someone but they just didn't work out for me and I feel like these are the ones that you shouldn't spend your money on. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this video make sure to subscribe button down below and also make sure to hit the bell icon just so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now I don't like doing videos where I'm very negative, being a negative Nancy, but I really wanted to see this video and I know that I did a poll on my channel and I did see that you guys wanted to see a worst of Chanel Beauty video as well because I did do a best and top 10 of Chanel Beauty on my channel which I'll link down below or somewhere in this video for you so you can check it out. But like I said, these are all my own opinions and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the worst of Chanel Beauty. First item that I have, this will probably be no surprise to you guys if you do watch my channel because when I tried this out in a first impression video, I did pretty much tell you that I didn't like it. It was also featured in my worst of 2021 video as well. So it's probably going to be no surprise if you've been subscribed to me for a while. So the first product that I have is the Balm Essential. Now this is a product that I've never tried out before other than when it was the holiday collection for last year. And I decided I was pretty much going to pick up everything from the collection because it was brand new. It's something that I was pretty new with Chanel products and I really want to test them out and see how they are. So I purchased this in the shade Ore and this is a limited edition one so it has the gold CC on the top. And I thought this was so beautiful when I saw it on the website. It's like a gold shimmery shade and it was just so lovely. And then when I tried it on myself, I didn't really like it. I felt like they didn't really do anything. I have done swatches before and it pretty much just looks like you've put Vaseline on your skin and then put a little bit of gold shimmer in there. It's not a crazy amount of gold shimmer. I thought for the price because it was, I think it was around £40 because it was pretty expensive. I was expecting it to be a product that was going to be proper glowy because it is for the holiday collection. I was like, this is going to be glittery. It's going to be glowy. It's going to be so beautiful. And in all honesty, I was really disappointed with it because I just felt like it didn't really do anything. You can only see the shimmer if you're looking in certain places. I also have a love-hate relationship with the packaging because I feel like the packaging is so nice and sleek. It is really, really beautiful and it's not very big so you can take it for travel. However, I feel like that mine is faulty because I can screw mine up a certain way and then if I try and push it down, it won't go back down. Then I have to use my finger and press it down. This was also featured in my first impression video as well. So you can see that it was also faulty in there. Again, I will link the video down below or somewhere in this video so you can check it out. But this was just a very big disappointment for me. Like I said, I feel like if you just wanted Vaseline and then putting a little bit of shimmer on it, then it would be pretty much exactly the same and it would give you the same look, but it would probably give you a better look on the skin. Something I would recommend from Chanel instead of getting the Balm Essential is the Liquid Illuminizer. This stuff is so good. This one was actually in the same collection and I absolutely love this. I actually loved it so much that I decided to purchase both of the normal ones that you get in the normal collection. And I'm actually wearing this at the moment. I'm wearing the shade Pearly Glow and I'm using it as a highlighter and it is absolutely stunning. I'm using it on my cheekbones and also on the bridge of my nose. It's absolutely amazing. And I just love these. Now this one, again, like I said, is from the holiday collection, but I still wear it because I still do love it. And this one has a hint of gold shimmer. You have Pearly Glow that has a light shimmer to it so it's very very pale and then you have sunkissed as well which is a little bit deeper so you have quite a few different shades that they have available but I much prefer this one because I think it's around the same price as a balm essential however you can use this for loads of different things you can use this on the cheekbones you can use it as a highlighter on the face after you've done your makeup you can use it as a primer you can mix it in with foundations you can put it on your collarbone everywhere that you can put this on your body you can also put this there as well and then also loads of other places so I do recommend this a lot more than a balm essential i feel like this one is a little bit more hygienic as well because it is coming in a bottle and it does have a pump to it and this one you just sort of rubbing it on the body so this one is the first product that i don't recommend don't waste your money on it go ahead and get the illuminizers instead the next product that I have is the Corrector and this is a product that so many people absolutely love. I tried it because Erin Nicole swore by it and she said that it was one of her Holy Grail products from Chanel and I had very high hopes for it and unfortunately it just doesn't work for me. Now I've tried it underneath my eyes, I've tried it down the centre of my face as well using it as a highlighter and a concealer and to be honest it just doesn't work out very well for me. I don't feel like it blends very well. Now you do have to work 
very very quickly with this if you are using it but I don't feel like it blends very well I feel like it looks pretty patchy I've also noticed that it is very drying as well so it is very mattifying and on the website it doesn't say that it's a mattifying concealer but this I feel like it is too mattifying even if I'm putting it down the center of my face I have extremely oily skin and for it to look patchy and too mattifying on me it just shows how mattifying this actually is. I just feel like it's too dry. I can't use it under the eyes. It has okay coverage, but I get better coverage with my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. That one is my Holy Grail. It's like £6. And this one, I want to say, is about £25. And to be honest, I feel like that you can get a pretty similar look if you use the Flower Beauty Concealer. Now, that one I do really like, but it's a little bit more hydrating and it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look patchy it just looks so good on the skin so I feel like that the flower beauty one is what this one wants to be if you do want to try this out but you don't want it to be too mattifying then the flower beauty one would be an amazing dupe for you so this is something that I just don't like however I do like the corrector in the shade rose I use that every single day in my makeup routine because it is just so beautiful on the skin and it blends out amazingly the coverage is so good as well and I also like the color correction of it as well the next product that I have is actually just a specific shade of this product because I have two other shades and I absolutely love them and one of them was featured in my best of Chanel Beauty and this is the Stylo Yo Waterproof Eyeliner and this one is specifically in the shade 54 Rose Curve if that's how you say it, I'm probably butchering that name, but it's in the shade 54 and I think it's rose gold. Now this I was so excited for, I don't know if this is a limited edition piece, but I picked it up, I think it was earlier on in the year, around spring, and I absolutely love Eros, and I really like Bruno Garpi as well, those two are so good and they stay on the skin, all day and they look absolutely beautiful. Now this one I was so excited about because the shade is absolutely stunning. I really went through a phase of really liking rose gold on the eyes and pinks and things like that. You can see that I'm wearing pinks on my eyes at the moment. So yes, it's one of those that I do really like. The problem with this is that it's not super pigmented and it also doesn't last for the entire day. It's also very hard for you to actually put it on. I don't know if I've got a weird formula or anything like that, but it's so different compared to the other one. So Eros, which I wear pretty much all the time when I want to have some eyeliner. I have that on and it glides on so easily, literally lasts all day. I can put it on at eight o'clock in the morning and it will still be on looking perfect by about 12 o'clock midnight. So it lasts all day for me. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, it doesn't run. It literally stays put. This one, I think it lasted me probably about two hours and then I noticed that it was fading on my eyes and I didn't do anything different to what I usually do with my other eyeliners that stay on all day. I did exactly the same things that I always do and for me it just didn't stay on, it just smudged everywhere, it faded so easily and it wasn't as pigmented. So if you are thinking about picking up this shade, I don't really think you should because for me it seems to be a different formula and it doesn't stay on as long as the other ones. Definitely go ahead and get Bruno Garpi or Eros because they're absolutely amazing and this one for some reason, I don't know why, just didn't work out. Next is a product that I don't own anymore because I actually had a reaction to it and I sent it back to Chanel and they gave me a refund for it because I had an allergic reaction. So if you guys have been watching me for a little while, you'll probably already know what this product is because I've spoken about it a few times and it's actually a new product and I had such high hopes for it and it worked out not being very good for me. So I did do a full first impression and then also did a review on this product as well. So I'll link both of the videos down below so you can check those out. And this is the Noir Allure Mascara. So this is a brand new mascara that they have and it promises length, volume, it doesn't clump, things like that. This product was so bad. Now I don't know if it's because I had a bad formula to it, but those people tend to like it, but then other people tend to hate it. So I don't know if I got a bad formula or anything was going on, but this was actually the first time that I've actually had a reaction to a Chanel product. And it was quite bad, to be honest. I ended up getting bright red eyes. My eyes started watering and it was only when I was wearing the mascara. I did try it out a few times and the same thing happened probably the second time and the third time that I was wearing it. And I didn't try out any new makeup. It literally was just the mascara. So I knew that it was that that was playing with my eyes. And yes, it didn't work out very well. It clumped like crazy as well. So it felt like a very sticky formula. So it was very strange. I've never had a formula of a mascara before that's been sticky. It just, I don't know. I did one coat and my eyelashes were sticking together and it didn't really give me much length. And then I did a second coat. 
oh building up to the second coat was so bad and I know that I had someone comment on that video and say you need to do a specific motion for it the same one that they have on the website I don't know if it's the rolling motion they said you need to try it again and do that because then it will work in the video I actually did that motion but obviously I speed up those parts and it just didn't work out I did rolling motion I did zigzag motion I did so many different things and it just didn't work out I also put a review on Chanel's website and someone above me said don't listen to the bad review because this is a great mascara it's perfect and I'm so glad they actually worked for that person but I was just stating my opinion what happened to me so I just feel like that it's one of those mascaras that you're going to love or you're going to hate. For me, it just was so bad. I don't recommend it. It was nearly £40 as well. I wouldn't spend £10 on that. I would expect that probably from, you know, like a mascara from Poundland. However, I've tried a mascara from Poundland and it was actually better than that. And if you're interested in trying out a Chanel mascara, I recommend the Lavalume one. That one is so good for me. I know that some people have said that it has smudged during the day. So pick up the waterproof one because I feel like that one probably won't run. But I've never had an issue with it. I love it. And it's actually a lot more affordable than that specific mascara. But if you do want to get a drugstore mascara, I recommend picking up the Maybelline Lash Lift. That one is amazing. But then also the Rare Beauty one is amazing. And then currently I've been loving the Tarte mascara as well the tartlet mascara i did do a full review on that which i'll link down below so you can check that out but yes i don't think you should pick up that mascara there are plenty of better mascaras that are super affordable this next product pains me to have this in this video but it was so expensive and it really didn't deliver and do what it said it was going to do so this product might not be a shock to you guys if you've seen my videos because I have done two videos specifically on this foundation and this is the number one de Chanel foundation. Now this is one of those where it has those skincare benefits in there and they are going into clean beauty and things like that so that aspect of it I think is amazing but I don't like the foundation. Now this is supposed to be a foundation that is meant to be for oily and combination skins. It's meant to hydrate but it's also meant to be mattifying on the skin. So it is one of those where it is suited for my skin type. I tried this out the first time and I wasn't really too sure if I liked it but I did notice that I was getting a bit of a reaction around my nose and it was so strange because I don't really ever get the reaction to any foundation. So straight away, I knew that I was having a little reaction around by my nose and it was getting really, really itchy as well. So that was something. And then when I tried this out again, I noticed that it was looking very patchy, very cakey on the skin. And it was so strange because it didn't glide on really beautifully like it said it was going to do. And it didn't glide on as nicely as it did the first time that I was using it. Now, I don't really know what that is. It just, I was using it exactly the same. I was using my beauty sponge and it's the same as what I always do with my foundations. I've also tried it with a brush and for some strange reason, this just does not want to blend out. It just looks patchy. It looks cakey. I can't make it look natural on the skin. Now, I do like the fact that there's skincare benefits in there. However... I'm currently wearing the Chanel CC cream. This is more affordable than this foundation. I want to say this is around 50 to 55 pounds, I want to say. So it is very expensive for a foundation, but the CC cream, it has so many different skincare benefits in there. It's helped me with my acne as well. It doesn't flare up my acne and it helps my oily skin way more than this one does. This also has a slight fragrance. It also only lasts about four hours on my skin as well. And then it starts to break apart really bad and really oily on my skin. So it doesn't stand very long on my skin. The positive thing is that the shade range is great, but other than that, it's just, I don't like this foundation. Definitely go ahead and get the CC cream. If you do want a foundation that has skincare benefits in there from Chanel. Alternatively, if you do want to have more of like a natural finish, I really love the La Beige foundation. That one is so beautiful on the skin. So that one has been one of my go-tos. This is also a go-to of mine as well. And I just don't think you should waste your money on it. And the last product that I have is actually a specific category of products. And I've seen quite a lot of people say exactly the same in their worst of Chanel Beauty. So if you do watch those types of videos, this probably is going to be no surprise to you if you do watch those. So this is actually specifically the eyeshadow quads. I feel like the quads really just don't do very well for the price. They're £50. And I just feel like that for that amount of money, you want to get eyeshadows that are absolutely incredible. My Tarte eyeshadows are amazing and they're actually cheaper than a quad. And I feel like they're so much better quality. You get more for your money as well. So I would expect that if these 
were £50 and you were getting four eyeshadows that these were going to be absolutely incredible. Now this is one specifically that I don't like. This one is in the shade Imaginaire. This one was for spring and I just felt like that this was lacking a lot of pigment. Now people were saying it's part of the Le Beige collection. Now it doesn't sell on it that it is part of Le Beige and it also doesn't have the packaging for Le Beige. So that's one thing that people were like, hmm, it's not meant to have a lot of pigment. But the thing is, if you're paying £50 for eyeshadows, you don't want them to all blend in together. As you can see, these are very, very similar to each other. You've got one standout shade, and then you've got one shimmery shade, but these two look exactly the same. Now, I did do a video on this collection, which I'll link down below or somewhere in this video so you can check it out. But this one, personally, I didn't like this one. I have used it a few times because I've been trying to get my use out of it because I feel like for £50 for an eyeshadow palette, then that, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. These quads, they're just not good. I mean, for the quality for the formula, for the price, everything, it's just not really that good. Now, sometimes I do bring out a limited edition piece and it actually works out quite well, but these, I, I don't like the quads. If you do wanna get eyeshadows from Chanel, I recommend getting the Le Beige ones where you get the five eyeshadows. Those are incredible. I'm actually wearing the warm palette on my eyes at the moment and I absolutely love every single shade. They're so highly pigmented, they're absolutely beautiful, they blend amazingly, and it's one of my go-to eyeshadow palettes as well. So if you do wanna get one specifically from Chanel, I recommend getting the Le Beige ones because they're just so much better, they're around the same price, you get more product for your money as well, and the formula is just amazing. And I created this look and it was so easy. I only used three of the eyeshadows and it was just so easy to do. So I highly recommend getting those ones or if you do want to get eyeshadows that are very, very high quality, I recommend going to Tarte because you can get smaller Tarte palettes and they're amazing. You can also get some from Make It Revolution that are pretty good as well. Primark do some great eyeshadows and Colourpop do some great eyeshadows as well. So those are the products that I don't recommend from Chanel Beauty and I feel like they're a waste of money. Personally, these are just things that I wouldn't recommend spending your money on, but if there are any products in here that you love that are featured, then I'm so happy that they work for someone, but they just didn't work out for me because it's just my opinion. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If there's any products you've tried out from Chanel that you like or that you don't, just comment down below to let me know and make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye! Thank you.